Use promo code MATCASTER for 5% off your order at Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store. Qualified orders get free shipping Canada wide if you use our promo code MATCASTER at checkout. Whether you're buying singles or sealed product, use our code to support the show and get a discount. Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is October 2nd, 2023. And before I jump things here, as per usual, I wanted to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield affiliate link as well as the TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, Let's get moving. Starting our loser section off here with Shire Terrace from the Secret Layer series, down 10.53% from $12.15 to $10.87 for its market price, and its average price is $11.63. Slip on the Ring, another Secret Layer Series card, down 11.19% from $12.15 to $10.79 for its market price, and its average price is $11.42. More than the Boundless here from Commander Masters, this card is down 12.59% from $8.82 to $7.71 for its market price, and its average price is $9.14. Arachno Genesis here from Commander 2015. This card is down 13.36% from $26.34 to $22.82 for its market price, and its average price is $12.75. All is Dust here from Modern Masters 2015. This card is down 14.60% from $6.92 to $5.91 for its market price, and its average price is $5.54. Fabro Elder here from the Secret Layer series down 15.07% from $14 to $11.89 for its market price, and its average price is $7.92. Waste Knot here from the Secret Layer series down 18.26% from $11.83 to $9.67 for its market price, and its average price is $9.51. Twilight Profit here from the Secret Layer series. This card is down 23.34% from $10.37 to $7.95 for its market price, and its average price is $12.09. Lightning Greaves here from Commander Anthology. This card is down 24.55% from $7.17 to $5.41 for its market price, and its average price is $6.86. Terminate here from the Secret Layer series down 27.21% from $14 to $10.19 for its market price, and its average price is $7.50. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Torment of Hailfire from Hour of Devastation, and this card is up 5.95% from $17.48 to $18.52 for its market price, and its average price is $17.78. And the pre release copy is sitting at $32.22 for its market price, and its average price is $34.34. And the promo pack version of the card is sitting at $17.40 for its market price, and its average price is $18.68. And the mystery booster version of the card is sitting at $18.88 for its market price, and its average price is $18.48. $18.49, and this card is being played in a ton of new commanders like Rowan Scion of War and also Zaxara the Exemplary. Next up here is Akroma's Will from Commander Legends. This rare is up 8.27% from $22.26 to $24.10 for its market price, and its average price is $20.74. The extended art version of this card from the Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $29.59 for its market price, and its average price is $25.98. And this card sees most of its play in the Commander format in decks like Giada Font of Hope, Arcadis the Strategist, Ishin Two Heavens as One, and also Rin and Siri Inseparable. And the next winner here is Gyerson Starn Kellermore from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k. It's up 8.48% from $15.33 to $16.63 for its market price, and its average price is $15. And the Surge Foil version of the card is sitting at $43.06 for its market price, and its average price is $44.09. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Warhammer 40k, Tyranid Swarm. And this card is being played in other commanders like Nekasar the Mindraiser, Niv-Mizzet Perrin, and also the Swarmlord. 
Next up here is Command Beacon from Commander Legends. This card is at 15.75% from $9.27 to $10.73 for its market price, and its average price is $8.77. And the extended art version of this card from Collector Booster Packs is sitting at $11.85 for its market price, and its average price is $11.23. And the Commander 2015 copy is sitting at $8.72 for its market price, and its average price is $8.79. And the Judge promo version of the card is sitting at $15.21 for its market Market price and its average price is $16. And the Galaxy Foil version of the card is sitting at $25.98 for its market price and its average price is $27.10. And the version on the list is sitting at $8.33 for its market price and its average price is $9.19. And this card is being played in the commander format in commanders like Zuladok Void Gorger, Magda Brazen Outlaw, Moldafa the Gravetide, and also Imodane the Pyrohammer. Next up here is Cryptic Command, and this is the Iconic Masters reprint, up 16.24% from $8.25 to $9.59 for its market price, and its average price is $9.29, and the Modern Masters copy is sitting at $5.94 for its market price, and its average price is $7.21, and the Modern Masters 2015 copy is sitting at $5.48 for its market price, and its average price is $9, and the Magic Player Rewards version of the card is sitting at $19 for its market price, and its average price is $19.99. Cents, and the version on the list is sitting at $6.63 for its market price, and its average price is $7.94. And the Pro Tour promo version of the card is sitting at $6.15 for its market price, and its average price is $8.61. And the Masterpiece Almond Get Invocation version of the card is sitting at $44.58 for its market price, and its average price is $48.08. And the original copy from Lorwyn is sitting at $7.79 for its market price, and its average price is $8.25. And this card is being played in some new commanders like Hilda of the Icy Crown, and also Alea Cunning Conqueror from Wilds Veldrain. And our next winner on our list here is Itali Primal Conqueror from March to the Machine. This card is up 18.38% from $9.03 to $10.69 for its market price, and its average price is $8.06. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $13.55 for its average price, and the showcase copy is sitting at $4.84 for its market price, and its average price is $4.50. And this card is seeing a ton of standard play right now in Cascade decks. However, it's also being played as a commander in the commander format and in other commander decks like Agatha of the Vile Cauldron and also Jassas Sun's Avatar. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are going to start that list off here with... Kinsbale Cavalier from Morning Tide. This foils up 13.84% from $44.80 to $51 for its foil market price, and its average price is $45. Opal Eye Kondas Yojimbo from Betrayers of Kamigawa. This foils up 13.85% from $13.72 to $15.62 for its foil market price, and its average price is $30. We've got an old frame foil here from Odyssey, Zombie Infestation, and this card is up 19.79% from $10.36 to $12.41 for its foil market price, and its average price is $11. War Elemental here from Mirrodin, this foil is up 21.72% from $44.10 to $53.68 for its foil market price, and its average price is $26.69. Kargan Dragonlord here from Rise of the Eldrazi. This foils up 22.07% from $10.65 to $13 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.11. Route here from Conspiracy. This foils up 23.68% from $5.11 to $6.32 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.81. Artifact Mutation here from Invasion and another old frame foil up 24.21% from $28.17 to $35 for its foil market price, and its average price is $48.32. Boros Recruit here from Ravnica, this foils up 26.55% from $8.25 to $10.44 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.60. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so I can continue to grow on this platform. Obviously, the likes and comments that you guys have been leaving have really helped grow my channel, and I'm forever grateful for that. 
Also, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite mover of the day, which cards you most surprised to see on the list, and which cards they actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.